Circle City leaders walking for peace as Indianapolis marks its 200th homicide of 2020. Mayor Hogsett is talking about more funding, new models for the law. Let's go to Russ McQuaid, who has been with them all afternoon. Russ, what are you learning today? As the search continues for the killer of Indianapolis's 200th homicide victim of the year 2020, Mayor Hogsett and IMPD were out here searching for solutions to violent crime in the Unwan neighborhood. That stands for the United Northwest Area. Mayor Hogsett began a walk in Frank Young Park in the 1000 block of Udell Street in the United Northwest Area neighborhood. Where there have been more than a dozen murders in the general community this year. People need to be held accountable uh, for the criminal wrongdoing that they engage in. Uh, and to the extent that there is a perception, right or wrong, uh, that they're not being held accountable, um, it probably is an, it's an invitation for more criminal activity. This year, the city spent more than $3 million on community crime prevention grants. Next year, that total climbs to more than $4 million. Mayor Hogsett said there are many underlying issues that lead to crime, like poverty, discrimination, mental illness, and addiction. And while IMPD admits it can't change those factors, it can change the way it protects neighborhoods and deploys officers according to data. Our officers, our beat officers, we want them to be community oriented and, and, and focused, but they have to be in the right places at the right time, and that's being visible in those places. So in order to do that, we have to make sure they aren't constantly chasing their tails from run to run to run to run to run. Um, with things maybe they shouldn't be responding to. Outside consultants have found IMPD officers spend 44% of their time responding to false alarms, non-injury car crashes, and filing burglary reports. So the department is hoping to create an online self-reporting system for citizens so that officers can focus more on violent crime. It comes down to people having uh, trust in uh, IMPD and its officers, and we're working on that. Uh, every single day. And while the mayor and IMPD may have good intentions, one neighbor told me that she's quit calling the police on people in her neighborhood dealing dope and doing bad things. She says when the police go over there and knock on the door, the person says, who called on me? And the police tell them, your neighbor did. Clearly, the city has a long way to go. On the northwest side, I'm Russ McQuaid.